Hello and welcome to this After Effects Certification Preparation series of videos. I'm Luisa Winters. In this video, I want to cover Objective 4.2D, D, which is animating text. So we're going to add and adjust preset animations. And, you know, before we even get us started, adding a preset animation is so super easy. The hard part comes into adjusting. So I'm going to take you over how to animate text from scratch without using presets. Of course, I'm going to teach you how to use the presets first, but then we're going to jump into animating things like for real. So this movie is going to be a little bit lengthier and it's going to cover more than the test covers, but it's important that you know how to create this from scratch so that you can animate your own text. All right, let's get to it. All right, in After Effects, create a new composition. So Control N, text animation is what I'm going to name it. And no, it's not animation, it's animation. And there you have it. I'm just going to type some point text. This, oops, uh, this is some point text, whatever, right? We already know how to change font. We know how to change text with uh, uh, text styles, you know, all of these things. So I'm just going to select this. I'm going to go to effects and presets. I'm going to go to animation presets text. And now I have a ton of things. I'm just going to make this wider so we can see it better. 3D text, animate in, animate out, blurs, blah, blah, blah. All of those things available to me to animate on the text. And in fact, uh, you know what? Let me go to my character. And you see this, I don't like it. I'm just going to select all of these guys. And this, I'm going to change this to zero. Yeah, because, you know, I mean, this is what we changed before. And I'm just going to change this to zero as well. And I'm going to change this to auto. And I'm just going to reset all of these things because, you know, why not? And yeah, I'm not going to change that. And there you go. Yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. And this kerning is a little, it's a little too tight. So I'm going to go here. There you go. All right. So now it looks a little bit better. All right. So with the layer selected, I'm going to go to effects and presets. And under text, I'm going to go just to animate in. I can use any of these. To add the preset, we saw this in a previous movie. Super easy, right? Just click on it and add it. Boom, done. Done. Play it. There you go. Oh my God, that looks so PowerPoint, doesn't it? Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, this is so 15 years ago. It doesn't matter. That's how you add it. Oh, but Luisa, I wanted to start later. You know, it's okay. Undo. Move the playhead later. You want it to start at six seconds? Add it at six seconds. Look at this. I'm going to add it. Effects and presets. Uh, where is it? Right here. And text right here. Animate in. Uh, I'm going to use center spiral. There's something about a spiral that I love. There you go. And oh, this one is even better. Look at that. Oh my God. I love it. No. All right, undo, keep on adding, you know, oh, I want this to start at eight seconds. Okay, so eight zero zero, type it, and now I want characters, shuffle in. There you go. But it didn't go all the way. I mean, I can still see it. Mm -hmm. We're going to discuss that in just a little bit. But, you know, in addition to that, I can say, hey, drop in by character. And there you go. So they should shuffle in. Well, no, they're not shuffling in and they're just dropping in by character, but I can still see them. So, I mean, what gives? Fade up, right? I can keep on adding and there you go. Now they're fading up. Fly with a twist or no, I want to go fly with a twist, whatever, right? Boom. 
yeah, you know what? I'm not digging any of these too much. So I'm not going to go to animate and I'm going to go to organic. Boiling. Oh, I like it. Okay, this one is cuter. It doesn't matter. If in the test you're asked, oh, add the blah, blah, blah preset at three seconds, don't forget, you try, you type 300, right? You have the text selected, and then you go to whatever preset it is. If you can't find it, you have a search bar right here. So say it's the boiling, and you go, oh my God, where was boiling? Type boiling. And there it is. Add it. Done. You're done. So these presets, super easy. Now, let's not work with presets because quite frankly, a lot of them just don't work. A lot of them are super cool, okay? I, did, I didn't show you the cool ones because, you know, I wanted to make a point in which, you know, you have to learn how to make these from scratch. So let's talk about animators animators. So I'm just typing the word animator. We already know how to change the font. We know how to change all these things. So I'm not going to worry about that. But animators are important because text layers are unlike any other layer in After Effects. You know, you can add things, you can do things with text layers that you can't do with any other type of layer. Kind of like the shape layer, but different, right? So anyway, if you expand the text, do you see how it te says text here? If you move your mouse cursor to the right, you see something that says animate and there's a little play button next to it. This is a menu. You can click there and you can now animate or add animators for all of these things. Say I want to add an animator for position, right? And I'm just going to move this up like yay. Do you see how this position is 0, 0? Well, it, this is a certification preparation class. So, and I know we haven't covered this, but I'm assuming you know how to use After Effects already. So you already know that coordinates 0, 0 for position in After Effects are top left. Because Adobe started as a printing company, right? Printing. And in paper, we started top left. That's how we measure things. You know, 8.5 by 11, right? Top left. So... 0, 0, is top left. This is not top left. This is not top left. That is because this position is given to you in relationship with transform position, with this position. So if this position, the position of the animator, is 0, 0, it means that the animator and the transform position are in the same place. But if I change this, now, this means that the animator position is 278 pixels above, because that was the Y property, above the transform position. So these values are given to you in relationship with transform. Now, you could animate this. You could keyframe this. But then what's the difference between keyframing this and keyframing transform position? None none. So why would you add an animator if you're going to animate it like that? And the answer is you wouldn't. You would instead deal with the range selector, the range selector. So there is something in here called range selector one, right? And, and that just means that you can add more range selectors, right? And right now we have two lines. If you don't see the line, expand range selector and click on either start, end, or offset, and then you're going to see the lines. See those lines right here? You can move your mouse cursor on top of one of the lines, and once the mouse cursor changes appearance to yay, you can click and drag and you're moving the line. And notice how as you move the line, the characters change where they are. And the reason they're changing where they are is because this is position and I changed it. So the effect, the effect that the animator is giving the characters only affect the characters that are in between the lines. If no characters are in between the lines, nobody is affected. But the lines animate and they animate by changing these values. 
start means the line on the left. End means the line on the right. Offset means both of the lines. So if I change the start value to be zero, the line on the left is all the way to the left. And if the end value is 100, the line on the right is all the way to the right. So all of the characters are in between the lines. All of the characters are being affected. But the moment I change the line to just affect, say, one character, only that one character is affected by the animation. Okay, so I can now reset these. And I can go, oh, you know what? I want for the characters to fall down one at a time, uh, starting with the letter A in animators. Okay, so you keyframe, say, starting here, start move in time and change this to 100. And sure enough, your characters will fall down one at a time. And you can even go, oh, well, you know what? I need to mask that. And you mask it and now the characters fall down one at a time, but you don't see them while they're up there. So once you understand how these animators work, you can actually modify any of the presets. You can modify any of the presets. So for example, if I delete this and I go to uh, I am a preset, right? And I'm going to add a preset for uh, no, not boiling. Let me clear that and animation preset text. I'm going to go to animate in and I'm going to go to oh, fly in from bottom right? Fly in from bottom. And this is what I have. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I could mask it. I could mask it. But I could also go to my animator. See, animator one. And I can go, oh, you know what? You can go even lower. You can go even more to the right. And now the animation will start from there. Because what we're having here is a keyframe of the range selector. See, this is exactly what I did before. That is what the preset is doing, is animating the range selector. And by the way, if you select the layer and you press the letter U as in unicorn once, you see the keyframes. You can now move these keyframes so that the animation starts and ends whatever you want. Oh, Luisa is going too fast. Well, you know, make it slower. There you go. I mean, that's geriatric, but you can, right? So, and it's the same with every single one of these presets. This goes beyond what the text is uh, giving you. The text is probably just going to say, hey, you know, at a preset at this point in time, blah, 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 blah. And this is a little bit more because it's not just the test, right? You may want to work on your own projects, and this is how text animation works. There's a ton of other things to know about text animation, and I'm not really going to cover that, otherwise this movie is going to be super, super long, uh, but I am going to create a series only on text animation because it's really, really important in After Effects. It's just this one is certification preparation, and I want to make sure that you learn uh, what you need to learn um, uh, with a little extra like this one. But anyway, just make sure that you have your playhead where you need to have it. Let me go, actually, let me get rid of that animator. Uh, say if the test says, uh, you know, make sure that the preset starts at four seconds. Make sure that you go to four seconds exactly and add the preset there, whatever the preset happens to be. Say raining characters in. You can add it to the layer in the timeline or to the layer in the comp panel. It doesn't matter. Because that's where you are with the playhead, that is where the preset is going to start. And raining characters in will happen like yet. All right? Adding presets, super easy. Modifying the presets, super easy. If you add the preset and then you find out that, oh, they asked for the preset to be four seconds long, select the layer, press the letter U, and go to the very first keyframe. You have a keyframe navigator. You can also click and drag the playhead while pressing the shift key. Then 
type a plus 400 here. That moves the playhead to four seconds. Move the second keyframe there. As you move, press and hold the shift key so that that keyframe snaps. And now that animation is exactly four seconds long. So make sure that you use this aid so that you can answer these questions quickly so that you have time at the end of the test to just sit back and review. It's like, okay, let me see this. But you have this security onto to yourself, this self, uh, you know, uh, uh, self-assurance that you're doing it the right way. All right? So adding presets, piece of cake. Modifying them, piece of cake. Don't forget, you as in unicorn, select the layer, press the letter U, and that gives you the keyframes that you can modify however you want. All right? So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.